first of all, let me even apologise before I even introduce myself because I have a flake. I have actually not filmed for like three months or something crazy like that. I'm sorry, so 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 sorry. I'm going to be dedicated. I'm going to be a better person from here on out. Mid-year resolution, more content, banging content, yeah. banging content better editing. I'm going to be on my you know Instagram posting more everything. Watch this so. Face. She's coming for you. Honest, because I promise I'll be honest. He used to be so racist, but he was black himself. I don't understand that. I... But yeah, that's how I got into three medical schools out of four. I'm gonna be so rude. Scriptures regarding anger. Exactly. But anyway. Moving on, welcome to Natasha's Narrative. If you've been on this channel before, welcome back. Thank you guys for consistently watching my stuff whilst I've been gone. We're here doing another collab. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Anusha. I'm Maji KT Monologues on YouTube. Um, and we did our previous collab sort of series together, which we'll put the link down below, um, where we sort of talk about interview prep, what we thought went well, what we like, just advice in general. Um, and today, what are we going to do? So today, guys, we have made it to the end of first year, praise the Lord. So what we're going to talk about is exams, how we found them, exam techniques, revision, what we feel like went well and what we feel like was just a tragedy, a waste of time. Just a tragedy, a waste of time. So that you also don't waste your time. Yeah, seriously, because I feel like um, there's a lot of things that I wish... I sort of knew mm -hmm. before going into exams. Obviously it's different for us because we did everything online, but I still feel like there's some things that they just don't tell you until you're in uni and you've got to find out yourself, which is fine, but it's also like a bit of an L, so I feel like- A if huge we sort of, L. Yeah, so in this video, it's just going to be all honesty, tell all about what our experiences have been. Yeah. Exactamundo. So we had three exams this year. Oh, um, yeah, we had, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we had one. Ooh. Uh, which was like mainly biology based so like microbiology things like that and then we had anatomy and physiology which we just don't talk about um and then the last one was like genes behavior and environment so it's kind of like was it really <laughs> it was basically it was meant to be genes behavior and environment javascript i remember being part of revision and right? that's when i said to my mom i said this is not supposed to be part of my degree no, why am i writing not. notes on this um some of it was really useful don't get me wrong like immunology was really interesting word um but like there were just some lectures that I just may or may not have touched and may or may not have been most of the exams, so don't do that in future. So, in future. Uh, which one would you say was most difficult for you? Physiology, for sure. So, okay, well, first of all, as you guys know from my Instagram, if you have me on Instagram, the day Follow of my first, done. definitely do that, um, and also Anusha, but yes, definitely, um, my brain's just gone to mush. Saying physiology first day. We said, um, I was like, which exam you meant to And you said physiology and anatomy. And then you said, um, okay. You feel like it's the heat? Hydrate yourself. Let me just do that. I'm gonna go again. <laughs> it's completely fine. <laughs> the day of my first exam, my laptop. I don't oh know why the devil is obsessed with me because I'm supposed to be successful. Um, it just crashed. <laughs> literally. Like, my touchpad stopped working, my oh keyboard my stopped working. No, so I just start crying if that I was literally, like, a bit shaky, but I was just like, Natasha, you just have to move on. I logged onto my family computer literally with one minute to, like, spare. Yeah. I even think, and I was trying to get my notes as well, so oh, that took up, like, no. about a few minutes as well, but that was fine. But physiology, oh my gosh. So, basically... I feel like the reason why I wasn't prepared for the exam was because I went into the physiology and anatomy exam expecting it to be kind of more of a label this, label that um, type recall of exam, this, recall it, that. and that's what we had prepared for in our like di um, section online workshops, at least that's what we had done. It was so, not that. The questions that were asked were so... The perks of filming at uni. The perks. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so it was not what we were expecting. 
No, it was so application heavy, so application heavy. And the thing that was just snaky, in my opinion, all love, but we had not come across a single type of question like that in our worksheets. Like, if our tutor at the end, because um, we have tutor groups, so if at the end we had like a couple minutes, maybe we were lucky enough to have a tutor who went through some clinical stuff with us, but some tutor groups never touched <laughs> anything clinical. Mm -hmm. So for them, for 40% of the exam, at least, to be clinical, I just sat there and I was like, I just didn't know what to say. Yeah, it was, qu it was quite shocking. I think they, the fact that it was open book, obviously, no, because I think that's why they tried to make it harder, yeah. like really hard, because they're like, you have your notes, so just rely on your notes. But it was re it was really difficult. Like I'm not because gonna lie. the thing is, at the start of the year, we touched on a bit, and I I emphasize a bit of imaging, um, like MRI things like that. The imaging, I've um, never forgotten. And um, but it was like one or two lectures. There was so much imaging. I remember looking at. Um, some of the imaging questions and I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the best at okay x-rays Yeah, I think I'm fine at but things like um, MRI, CT scan yeah, and MRI they're difficult. They're I find really yeah. difficult yeah. Um, doing like the top to bottom type stuff yeah, and because yeah, yeah. when we went over it like I didn't feel like it was I felt like it was kind of more of a like introduction like oh we want to get you familiar with yeah, it That's like, how I felt like it was presented to me people I said, yeah, one. what is this organ? I said, I have this no could idea. be a spleen, a stomach, a liver, a heart, a lung. I would not be able I to tell you. Sure. This could be anything. And I just feel like, because it was all online, we didn't have the time to implement it into our heads. Like, like, if we were in person, I feel like, you know, we could have gone to this room, that room, could have like practiced it, could have done dissection, could have done all of this. And um, it just would have made more sense. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if we're doing it online, we were doing physiology and anatomy separately. Right. But physiology and anatomy is something that goes hand in hand. I mean, we'll Not go into this sense. more, like, but I'm trying to make sure that I'm at least going over stuff lightly because I know by next year I will forget and it'll, I will be really panicked when it mm -hmm. comes to placement and stuff. Let me just say one thing. At the start of the year, <laughs> one lecturer was like, you can do anatomy online. You don't need that section. I understand the situation they're in, I understand that they cannot cater for like 400 plus students. Towards the end of the year, I went I went into like open learning sessions that we had, and like, it wasn't a lot, and I wish I'd done more, but even those were useful, and now I'm yeah, thinking if we'd have had, <laughs> and I'm thinking like, if we did have full dissections every week like that, mm -hmm. we would have been fine. Really Completely, because I think... Like, would you like, try to look at like a female online, I'm just like, what does, that's 2D to me. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a stick. I, I think a lot of us kind of like relied on just our notes because and I think that's probably been the worst thing in regards to anatomy and stuff is when you have your notes there and you know that you're just answering for class blah 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 blah, blah you don't actually really learn as much whereas if you have to go into a dissection room, room you know that if you don't know yourself you're embarrassing yourself in front of the rest of your tutor group which is calm but it's also that it's just you just don't need that Word. So you would have prepared more, you would have looked at the lecture more. Word. And I feel like obviously that's maybe down to self-discipline. We didn't even do exams. Like for un like undergrad people that did A-levels, we didn't even have exams for us after two years to just pick up where we left off. It was a lot. It, 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 it has definitely been a lot. It's been a difficult year. We got finessed. We got I was finessed. finessed. So I was shaking, guys. I was literally shaking by the end of that exam. Like we had the first exam, and I was like, you know what, that's quite difficult. I was like, you know what, it's you know it's gonna get better. Then physiology and anatomy came, and I felt like it was doomsday. And then GB came, and I was like, you know what, I can't get worse than pass. And it did. See, I didn't think GB was the worst. Why do you feel like GB was the worst for you? Without baiting myself out too much, sixty percent of the exam was based off part of a module that I may or may not. Well, that will do it for you. <laughs> that will definitely I do it for you. I also feel like because of the shock of past for me, it was just a lot. Oh my god. And days. I feel like it, mentally and physically it drained you so much. It was a two hour exam, which it doesn't seem like a lot, but it was 100 questions, and each question would have taken you like 10 minutes to do the imaging ones. Um, so I felt like I was so drained after pass. My only motivation for getting through GB was that it was the last exam. Word. And that after that, we had time to like mentally process it. The most anticlimactic finish, yeah. by the way. Yeah. 
honestly. It just was, sitting in your like just sitting house, in my room on a rainy close day. Close your laptop. Close my laptop and then go down and be like, yeah, I finished first year. Everything was very packed. I felt like every, yeah, we didn't even have Easter holidays, guys. On, like, Let me tell you the truth. We had no Easter, Easter. holiday. We had four day weekend. That's all we had. Like oh, everyone oh, else. We had no Easter holiday. Because no. we finished uni around the 23rd of April. And the first exam was 7th of May. Well, no, not 7th, 11th of May. So that was like, like two and a bit weeks. You mean 13th? It wasn't 11th. It's oh 13th. Other than that, I do think I really enjoyed the content this year. Like, in terms yeah. of, I enjoyed the content. I just feel like I could have finished off on a slightly better note. 100%, 100%. Um, uh, I feel like definitely we learned a lot of interesting stuff clinically mm -hmm. um, that I'm looking forward to like putting into like place next year. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm really excited for placement. I am so excited for placement. placement. It's, gonna be, so it's gonna be amazing to be in that, like, cause obviously we've done work experience before, which is normally like a week, you know, solid deal. Um, when I went to Uganda, obviously that, I was there for an extended amount of time. Yeah. So I think that's the closest thing that I've had for placement really, yeah. cause I did about like six weeks, which wow. is quite a lot of time lot, yeah. to be in hospital. Um, <clears throat> but I am really looking forward to being in like different wards, mm. like really helping Just to like, hands on, really and solidify more of an ideology yeah. of like what do you think you actually want to do because i think i know but like Ooh. everything can change yeah exactly like um you can have an interest now but then once you get exposed to it you might realize it's just something you don't want to do mm -hmm. and that's okay that's something with medicine there's so many options like even in let's say one week before you're starting your rotations you'd go i don't want to i don't want to do session that's fine because you, you have another two years to mm -hmm. figure out what you mm -hmm. want to do mm -hmm. um but yeah, I definitely think, because this year has been very, very academic, which is like, fair enough, medicine's an academic degree. But next year we add a bit more like clinical stuff to it, which I think, because everything was online this year in terms of clinical, um, it will be more interesting to just have that size next year. Um, honestly, I'm working with people like actually in person, because I feel like even though we have tutor groups and stuff, like mm, we don't same. really work together. Like, like it doesn't hit the same as it would in person. Word. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why I chose this degree is because you get so much in-person contact. So I think that was another big shock just here to not have in-person contact. Right. Because don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for the online sessions, but it's just like it doesn't hit the same as like seeing someone every day, having that conversation with them, mm -hmm. having that consistency. Mm -hmm. um, so next year it's going to be really interesting to just get involved really. Just have a bit be more, more hands on, actually be involved in societies. Oh, I have to socialise now. Yeah, <laughs> we're just like back to <laughs> that, like talking to people. Yeah, and it's just it's a big jump. Um, but I also think it's gonna be interesting to see stuff change medically after COVID. Yeah, um, like on placement yes. things. Are obviously, there are some things that are just not gonna go back to the same because of convenience. Mm -hmm. Um, so I feel like there'll be a lot less dependency on interactions like with people. Like for example, sessions that you could have had online are just gonna probably stay online. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I think it'll just be interesting to see how like a pandemic has like affected the workplace yes um, yes because obviously we are like the first generation of doctors after the pandemic yeah 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 so that would be really really interesting to like just see yeah no i completely agree um and i think yeah i think i don't know i feel like our generation of doctors are going to be a lot more i don't know prepared for change which i think is yes, also good because yes. over the next couple of years it's going to be like ai everything's going to come in um, and i just feel like it's just going to be really interesting to see and not just that i think like in terms of like culturally and socially oh, yeah. we're so much more of a woke generation oh, than yeah. the generations before and i feel like there's just so much stuff that i was concerned about like obviously racially mm. for the f um for the foremost and i think there's just a lot of stuff that's not going to be deemed acceptable in the workplace which i'm really happy about mm. and just being able to be like get involved in research mm. Um, that's really involved in like highlighting um, minority ethnics and the disadvantages that they yeah. face within like hospital or community settings. I think I will be really like, exciting. As like you go up in medical school, I feel like you get more of a chance to really like address the issues that you're worried about. Mm -hmm. And like when they say you have a chance to change something, like you literally do. Word. Um, even if you start from second year, third year, by the time you've like graduated, you have a chance to make an impact in your uni and impact in your workplace. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Um, because like, you're just getting to implement the changes that you want to make. Mm -hmm. um, which was why I'm again I'm excited for placement just to see how it goes, and honestly, it's one step closer to finishing. 
to be honest. Like, I'm so excited to be a doctor, but at the same time, I'm going to be like, oh my, my gosh, gosh no, I'm, actually, I'm a actually a doctor. Like, people just... actually rely on me and like, <laughs> I actually have a job. Like, I, even I have to actually work myself. to make money. <laughs> and on that note, let me just restart. <laughs>